Hello students, in this video we will talk about the ionic basis of neuron action potential. As you all know, the action potential is defined as the brief sequence of changes which occur in the resting membrane potential when stimulated by a threshold stimulus. So we begin with the uh, action potential and we start with the resting membrane potential which is recorded as a straight baseline at minus 70 millivolts before the application of the stimulus. This is called as the resting stage which is the resting membrane potential before the action potential begins. So now we apply a stimulus which is the threshold stimulus and when we apply a threshold stimulus to the cell membrane at the point of uh, stimulation there occurs a slow rise in the permeability of the membrane to sodium ion. This sodium influx causes the membrane potential to become less negative. So it changes from minus 70 millivolts and reaches up to minus 55 millivolts which is the firing level or the threshold potential at which depolarization occurs rapidly. Now what happens at minus 55 millivolts which is the firing level or the threshold potential is the voltage gated sodium channels open. And when the voltage gated sodium channels open there is a rapid influx of sodium ions means the sodium will move inside the neuron and the membrane potential reaches zero and then overshoots the zero line up to plus 35 millivolts. This change in the membrane potential from minus 55 to zero and then to plus 35 millivolts in the, is the depolarization phase as the membrane potential becomes positive. So the ions responsible for the depolarization phase is the influx of sodium through the voltage gated sodium channels. Now what happens at um, plus 35 millivolts is there is no further increase in the membrane potential beyond plus 35 millivolts. And why is that is because the voltage gated sodium channels close and at the same time the voltage gated potassium channels open. And this marks the end of the depolarization phase and the beginning of the next phase of the action potential. Now the next phase of the action potential occurs when the voltage gated potassium channels open where there is efflux of potassium which occurs along the electrochemical gradient. Potassium moves outside and the membrane potential now returns to the negative or towards the resting membrane potential. This phase is called as the repolarization phase where the membrane potential returns to the negative or returns to the resting membrane potential due to the opening of the voltage gated potassium channels and which causes the potassium efflux. Now the efflux of potassium continues even after the membrane potential comes back to the resting state. And this is because uh, this causes the membrane potential to go a little below the resting level. The membrane potential becomes more negative say around uh, minus 72 millivolts and this phase is called as the after hyperpolarization phase. A little later uh, the voltage gated potassium channels close. And then we have the changes which has uh, occurred during depolarization and repolarization which has caused more sodium inside and more potassium outside and uh, the ionic distribution now has to be brought back to the resting state which is contributed by the sodium potassium ATPS pump which pumps out sodium and takes in potassium and restores the membrane potential from minus 72 millivolts to the resting state. Basically there are uh, two distinct uh, phases of the action potential which are depolarization and repolarization. Threshold potential is the membrane potential at which an action potential is initiated and is obtained when a threshold stimulus is applied. So when we apply a threshold stimulus, the because of the stimulus, there is increased permeability of the 
membrane to sodium ion which changes the membrane potential from minus 70 to minus 55. At minus 55 millivolts, the voltage gated sodium channels open causing sodium influx and this leads to the depolarization phase of the action potential. Membrane potential goes up till plus 30 to plus 35 millivolts at which the voltage gated sodium channels close and the voltage gated potassium channels open. When the voltage gated potassium channels open, it causes potassium efflux and leads to the phase which is called as the repolarization phase of the action potential. This causes the membrane potential to come back to the resting state and goes below the resting state because the voltage gated potassium channels are still open and potassium efflux continues and this phase is called as the after hyperpolarization. Now during the depolarization phase there is sodium influx and during repolarization phase there is potassium efflux so there is more sodium inside and more potassium outside which is not the same as the resting state so the restoration is done by the sodium potassium ATPS pump which restores the ion balance which was changed during the depolarization and the repolarization phase of the action potential. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and comment and do subscribe to my channel Simple Concepts in Medical Physiology for more such videos.